from PhoneDog.com, and I'm coming to you live from the Windows 7 phone launch. I'm here with Ray from Samsung, and he's going to show us two Samsung phone models. First one is the Samsung Focus coming to AT&T. All right, here we go. So to begin with, it starts with uh, thinness of the phone because we have our Super AMOLED screen, so you can see how thin the phone is. You can also see how bright it is. It also helps with the battery life uh, and just also the weight. Uh, and when you actually pick up this phone, you can tell dramatically. You can tell this has got the typical Microsoft tiles, the live tiles on here. The reason why they call them live tiles is, as you can see here, your typical uh, contacts, or they call it the people, these pictures, these feeds are actually coming in from whether it's your Facebook account or whether you've got them on your phone. Tap on that. You can scroll through the million, or you can just tap on the B and go alphabetically to whoever you want. Hitting the back button down the bottom, that soft key. What's nice about this people, or contacts, is the feeds from all of your social networking that you have tied in with each one of the contacts is updated here. You can see comments, or you can make comments yourself. You've got your recent. And then going back to the home screen, which is one of the three soft keys down at the bottom, usually going down there. You have a Zoom integration, which is really nice, which is your music coming down here to a Zoom tile, or your music tile, tapping on that. And if you're familiar with the Zoom, you'll be familiar with this whole flow and the UI. Coming to your music, different choices, the marketplace, just like your Zoom would be. Great integration here. Going back to the home screen, another thing that works really well in here is their map integration. Coming down to this map tile, this is actually showing a shot up in Redmond, where Microsoft is at. Let's see how quick this can render as we zoom in. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. It's really quick. It's a little bit of the map integration there. Going back home, from home you've got a nice little soft key for search, which will take you right up directly to your Bing. And then we've got your email, your typical email experience coming out here, which is rock solid on this device. The fluidity, opening up one of the emails, what it looks like. As you can see, we rotate this. It rotates very responsive. Hitting the home. What's nice, too, is if I've got somebody like my wife, which is on uh, my actual home uh, phone, I've got somebody that I call most uh, all the time. What I would do is i just hold her down. I've got all of her recent information going to that. Now it's asking me, hey, refresh if I need it. Coming back to my contacts, if i got somebody I like to call most recently, I can hold them down. Pin to the start. What that now does is they are on the bottom. I can hold that down, move them wherever I want, take it all the way up, put it right in there. Now I actually can rearrange those tiles however I want. I can easily get rid of that too. Uh, another great feature on this is going to be your picture integration. You actually have a choice here. These are your feeds. Anything that has to do with pictures, whether it's your email or your social networking, it's going to show pictures there. You can come over here and say, hey, I want to look at all of them. These are not just what's on your phone, but it's also what's on your, your social networking, whether it's your live account, whether it's your Facebook, and so forth. All the folders that you have up there are going to integrate down to the phone nicely. You've got your web experience, or your web browser, I should say, which is this nice tile here. Coming up online, nice and fluid. Let's see how quick that renders. We are on Wi-Fi here. Really quick and easy just to go back home. As you can see, nice and fluid coming over. It's definitely very responsive. It really is. They've got it polished really well. However many tiles you want to put on here, I think the limit they put over 300 if you want to actually scroll through 300. That's a lot of shortcuts. <laughs> it really is. But for the most part, that is going to be it.